Hi, my name is Azaria Perry. My major is New Media and Communications with a film production minor. My role for the project was I initially um, started the project by reaching out to um, Dr. Brandon to ask her to do a day of service project, which included enhancing a area for students to come relax and have fun. Uh, so how did this project come to be? It, it was a little bit of a roller coaster. I mentioned it kind of had in the past question. Well, residents, life, and housing always has training for their RAs. And so Dr. Brennan um, seeked the opportunity to come in August to reach out to RAs to ask if they have any ideas for the day of service. I thought that would be a cool idea, but I just didn't know what I wanted to do yet. So I thought about it, I thought a little bit on it, and then I finally reached out to Dr. Brennan close to the end of August where I emailed her and I said, hey, I have this idea, this area by the lake that we have, it's under the calf. A lot of students hang out there in general, it's a nice place, but um, since it's by the lake, it's always kind of covered in spider webs a little bit and it's always covered in like bugs. So I was like, what can we do to like live in this area? How can we get these tables kind of always clean? Maybe a heater down there during the winter so students can be warm. And then maybe we can liven up these walls. We have three long white walls down there. Maybe someone could do like a quick little mural. I just emailed Dr. Brennan and I, I laid out all those details. And then I reached out to Thomas Dillon so he could, cause I knew he was an artistic person. So I wanted to make sure I could use someone who knew how to draw for the design of the mural. I'm, uh, I'm Dylan Bassett, I am 19. I'm a sophomore here at Middle Georgia and I am the lead designer on the mural. I'm doing most of the line work, uh, that kind of thing. Uh, yeah, so I operate a digital marketing and visual arts company. It's media production as our focus. So I have done album covers, band logos, that kind of thing for some record labels in Atlanta. I have done entire rebrands and logo redesigns for some mid-sized companies on the outer rim of Atlanta and a lot of stuff like that. Primarily where my business comes from is logos and marketing and things like that, but in a more general sense I have operated in just about every edge of the visual media production uh, field. So as far as how I first got into uh, visual art and that kind of thing, um, I know a lot of artists just really have a passion for it, and I, I at some point did. Um, as a lot of people that have done this will know, the moment you turn your passion into a job, your relationship with that hobby gets a little rocky. Um, I, I still enjoy art. I've been able to build a good separation between what I do for work and what I enjoy. Of course, I started out physical median. Um, digital art, as wonderful of a thing as it is, is very expensive and the barrier to entry is very high. And of course, as a kid, you know, I couldn't afford to go buy a computer and a drawing tablet and all that. You know, I started with a pencil and paper and that's where I worked for the longest time and it's still where I'm honestly the most comfortable. It's what I do as a hobby. But when I really started doing this as, as work, I kind of made a decision that I was going to build a separation. So what I do for work is almost entirely digital art and I keep physical art just as a passion project. I was approached about it at the end of August uh, by Azaria who works with me as one of the RAs over in our residence hall. And you know, she had the idea for the day of service originally to do a mural to clean up that area down here. Um, and we kind of got to work on it. I started moving forward on the design. I corresponded with other heads of departments to initiate the process of getting the, the tools we needed for the um, mural to be painted and designed. I also, along with Thomas Dillon, um, pitched the idea. A week out from the day of service, which was our initial date for the, um, for the mural to start, we set up an interview with a handful of the people with the administration that we would need to get approval from to do this. My name is Jennifer Brannon. I'm the Vice President for Student Affairs at Middle Georgia State University. I've worked here for 25 years, and my responsibility as part of this project was administrative approval of the request and the um, overall approval of the project. So as the Vice President of Student Affairs, I oversee things outside the classroom. So athletics, um, residence life, student life, counseling, accessibility services, health clinics, um, the career and leadership development of our students, 
I became aware of the project um, through an email regarding our um, MGA Day of Service, a project idea from Azaria and Thomas Dillon, and they had requested to do a mural on one of the walls um, at Georgia Hall. And so when we get student projects, um, I like to get a little bit more information, and so we talked about doing a presentation to the facilities folks, the art um, instructors, things like that, in order to get a well-rounded um, information about the project, the scope, um, what the idea was, what the mural would look like. Um, and so that led up to the pitch meeting. So my initial thoughts when the students brought this idea to me was I was very excited about it. This is an opportunity to do something on campus that we haven't had before. And it would be an opportunity for students to get involved on um, this, the pride of campus and be able to have a, a leave a lasting legacy. And at the pitch meeting, we had um, Charlie Agnew, who's the instructor, uh, an art instructor. We had Brian Harrell. Uh, we had some other folks that would be um, impacted and could also help as on an administrative standpoint with the project. So when we had the pitch meeting, it was phenomenal. I was so proud of the students who they came in. It was a professional pitch. I could see this in any kind of business out in the real world, um, but they came totally prepared. They gave the pitch. They talked about the what they would do, how they would do it, and really sold the project to the point where when their pitch was done, we asked them to step out of the room and then um, the, the administrators that were in the room discussed it and we were all very excited. The students had really thought through the project and all the ins and outs that would go along with it and the administrators in the room decided it was it was perfect to go forward and we shared that with the students and then my role after that pitch meeting well i was sold on it but i also had to um, get permission from um, the cabinet from the president and um, the other administrators at that level uh, my name is charlie agnew i have worked at middle georgia state university for 18 years professor of art teaching drawing, painting, art appreciation, other classes as well. And uh, I, my involvement with the project came about uh, as an invitation from Jennifer Brandon to uh, help out with the project because I had worked on the mural in town for the mural that's on the side of the barbershop downtown. Um, and we painted uh, basically their design. We uh, went through and figured out the coloration that we needed. We did a mural, I mean, uh, overhead projection at night to draw it onto the wall. Then we had a, a month contract to get it done. So we got it done just about maybe slightly over a month. Murals have a life of their own. <laughs> I've come to find out. MJ Data Service provides an opportunity for um, faculty, staff, and students to go out in the community where we work and play and live and study and um, provide some opportunities to serve, give back, and serve those communities. So a couple of words to describe this process would be lengthy, and I'm going to say bumpy. So when Azoria initially came to me about the mural, um, I, I definitely thought it was a good idea. I remember her mentioning again specifically it was for the day of service at the time, of course. That's changed, but I liked the idea of the mural. I thought it was a good idea to kind of build a newer area for students to gather. We don't have a lot of that. I did not at the time know or take into account the scaling of the mural. I've mentioned the scaling of the mural being large at this point. I don't think I've given the ex exact specifications up until this point. It's 46 and a half feet wide and a little over 10 feet tall. I don't mean to be negative, but I have spent what I can only describe as an unholy amount of hours down at that wall. With the exception of the primer, I've done almost all of the work by myself. Um, Um, entire mural. I think 
the general purpose of the impact is again to build that kind of collective meeting place, a common area for everyone. But I think having that kind of central area, especially an outdoor one where we have better weather down here. I hope the student interaction is, is, is excited. I hope they're as excited about it as I am. I think that um, having that piece of, that feeling of Middle Georgia, that pride of Middle Georgia right there on campus where they live and eat and breathe and have fun that is gonna be a, a nice impact for them. Yeah, I think it's the follow through that's more important in this case. You know, the intention is great, right? We want to build that kind of meeting area, but there's a lot more work to be done outside of just painting a picture on a wall. We have to clean this area up. We have to add amenities and things to encourage students down there. If we're going to keep hosting events on campus like we do, we need to start hosting more of them in that area.